Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn how to deploy your machine learning or deep learning model into a website using Django framework. So let's get started. So you have found that set on Kaggle and already trained your model using one of these notebooks. So the next step is to see it in action by deploying it on a website. One of the methods of doing that is using Django framework. First, open your visual code and click open folder. Now let's create a folder which will contain our machine learning project. Let's just call it machine learning project and select this folder. Now write in your terminal pipe install Django and wait until it finishes installing. After that you have to write Django slash admin start project space and then your, the name of your project. Let's just call it machine learning deployment. You're gonna see a template like this. Now open a terminal on the directory of the inner folder and write Python manage the by run server. Copy this URL link and paste it into your browser. Congratulations on creating your first website. Now we need to create a first app which is gonna do a specific thing which is a prediction for our machine learning model. To do that just go to your terminal hit ctrl c to stop local hosting and just write Django slash admin start app and the name of the app. Let's just call it base for now. Now we need to include this app into our main setting file so it can be seen by our main project. You can do that by going to setting file and just scroll down to install the app and just write the name of the app which is base. Now we need to create folders that will contain our HTML files and our CSS files. To do that, go to the main folder and just create a folder called templates and another folder called static. And another templates folder in our base app. Now let's create our HTML files. Go to machine learning deployment and then go to templates and create HTML file and name it main. This file is going to contain the default HTML code which we will extend from it into another, into another HTML file. And don't forget to write block and end block content as it's necessary so we can extend from this file. Now go to the base folder and go to the templates folder and then create two HTML files. First file is gonna called home which is the main page of our website and the second HTML file is gonna name it result which will display the result to us. Now to include base templates folder into our main project just go to setting and scroll down to templates and just write base configure slash templates. Let's go to the home.html file and write simple HTML code so we can test it later. So write block and end block content and between them write hello world between two header tag. After that we need to create urls.python file so we can actually include this HTML files. After creating the URL files, we need to include these URLs files into the main URLs file. Now we need to import the include method from django.urls. Inside the URL patterns, write path, open your branches and just write an empty quotation. And after that we need to write include and inside include just write the just write base.urls. Now go to the base URL file and start importing the path method from the django.url and after that write url patterns and inside it we gonna actually include our html file so start writing path and open your parentheses but before you're doing that we need to create a function for every html file we have into the view.bison file start defining your home function and define your request argument and return this argument along with the HTML file, which is home.html. Back to URL file, you need to import your views.python file. To do that, just write from dot import views. And inside URL patterns, start including your home function. And also we left the quotation empty because the home page is gonna load at first. Now, this is what we have done till now. Just go to your terminal and start writing Python manage to buy run server and after that copy the URL link into your browser.
and as you can see the hello we just write into the home.html now let's write some real html code so as you guys can see here i wrote some sim some simple html code based on my machine learning model which takes an 11 input as you can see here i declared my form tag and my post method then i wrote the C csrf token and then i declare my body tag and inside the body tag declared a div tag and inside the div tag i declare my 11 input so i can pass it to the machine learning model and last i declare a submit button when user click on it will take this data all this data from the user and pass it to the machine learning model and send the result to html.result so let's run our local hosting and see what is the web page look like right now as you all can see it's very simple web page of course you can do some css to just make it very easier but it's not our concern right now now let's go to our home function in views so here in the home function i start declaring the model and start checking if the request method equal post or not and if it is i start loading my model i trained before using bkl library as you can see here in the left i loaded i just copy and paste the model in the main directory of the folder as a, as a, of the project folder and then i de declare an, ar an values array and start the loading the values which the user entered in the web application and after loading this value in into an, an variable array just start reshaping this array just to match the input parameter of the machine learning model and after that i think this value to the machine learning model to predict it and taking the result this result i send it to the html to result file as a context valuable parameter here in our result to the html file i'm displaying the result to the user by writing the variable f underscore result inside the two curly brackets so let's test this out in action go into our browser just click the submit button and by the way i forget to just rename it from sign up to submit so don't worry about it as you can see here it displays the result and it means that the user is not eligible to obtain a loan from the bank now it's time to upload our project into github and after that hosting it using heroku so it can publicly used by everyone to do that we need to install some libraries and declare some files first so go to your machine learning deployment folder open a new integrated terminal and start writing pipe install unicorn django slash heroku now we need to declare a file called runtime.txt and inside it we need to write the version of python we use in our project to get the version of the python just write in your terminal python double slash version now write your python version and save it after that create a file called brock file and inside it write this line of code this line of code is necessary so we can be able to host our project using Heroku. then go to your terminal and write by freeze the bigger sign requirements.txt this line of code will create you a file called requirements.txt that will contain all the libraries installed in our project navigate to setting and start importing django underscore heroku and in the allowed host right inside it a star between a single quotation and at the bottom of the setting file start writing django underscore heroku the setting locals now we have finished from the coding part it's time to upload our project into github now open your github and click create repository and let's name it machine learning deployment and click create a repository now copy and paste every line of this git commands into your terminal and don't forget to write the line dot add before the commit line refresh your browser now you can see that your project is uploaded successfully into github now let's go to heroku in heroku click create new app select a name for your app then click create app now you have to connect your github after connecting your github start searching about the project by its name now click connect after that click deploy branch 
Now it's uploaded successfully. As you can see, our project is successfully hosted by Heroku. Now we reach our end of our video. I hope that you find this video useful. If you have any question, don't hesitate to write it in the comments. Goodbye.